Hello cats and welcome back to another episode of the Wildcat Recap. I hope you all had a wonderful break and are ready to push through the next couple weeks of school. That's right, just four weeks and there's a lot of stuff going on between now and break. To get us started, however, we are going to take you guys over to Callie's Corner to talk to some fellow cats on what they did over Thanksgiving break. Thanks, Sid and Jess. As you can see, I'm here in the point and we're going to ask a couple of students about their Thanksgiving break. Okay. You're short. You're short. Ready? Hey, what is your name? Cameron. Do you mind if I ask you a couple questions about your Thanksgiving break? Sure. What was the best part of your break? I like food, so eating Thanksgiving is it's pretty nice. Awesome. Thank you so much. Hi, what is your name? <laughs> I'm Lucy White. What did you do over Thanksgiving break? Um, I went to a Portland Winterhawks game and I like saw my family. Back to you, Sid and Jess. Thank you so much, Callie, for stopping some cats during passing period. Next, we want to talk about all the wonderful wintry things that have been happening around our school while we were on break. Sid and I are going to take you to the point. We are here in the point where some helpful leadership and NHS students came to the school during break and turned our school into a wildcat wonderland. That's right. We are sitting in a wonderful sled where you and your friends can come sit and have a photo shoot with a Buddy the Elf himself. The point comments and the rest of the school looks amazing and is getting everyone in the holiday spirit. Great job, cats. And if you look in the point in the comments, you'll find some bins with class numbers on them. These bins are for toy drop-off. So give back the holiday season and drop off a toy that will be donated to Dornbecker. Now let's go back, Sid, to talk about Springfest applications. All right, seniors, next week is our first week to start your Spring Fest applications. You can find your applications on December 3rd on the school website, but before you go ahead and apply, there are some requirements you should know. Yes, to be eligible for Spring Fest, you must have a minimum GPA of 2.25 or higher and should not have excessive absences. Being a part of Spring Fest means you might have to get up early, so you'll have to set an alarm, cats. Good luck to any seniors who are applying to be on Spring Fest. And that's all for this episode of the Wildcat Recap. We will all see you here next week.